all right y'all welcome back to the channel um today is july 26th and um i did work today but i did not record uh my work um i had something i wanted to do it's been on my mind been on my heart and uh, i have a lot of shout outs and thank yous to give and um, i really don't want to make my video too long so i didn't record my work today um, i did make 160 dollars today was a really slow day um, i did uh like two dispatch orders and uh, one freight and one Simpex. So it was pretty quiet today. Um, you know, that happens sometime. But um, like I said, I want to use this video to um, say a couple thank yous, a couple shout outs. And um, before I do that, so there was uh, two good orders that came out. Well, I don't think they were good, but high paying orders. So dispatch had the first one. Uh, they put out one for $170 and that was to go to Georgetown, Texas. So from where I'm at, that's a two hour drive, um, 125 miles. And so for $170, uh, obviously like it's over a dollar per mile, but it's the deadhead. That's the thing that, that really sucks. So um, you have to deadhead back. So it wasn't worth it. Like I said, I only made like $160 today. So it would not have been worth putting all those miles on my van just to make that much. Um, Freight uh, also put out a high paying order. Uh, I was able to accept it, but I did not. Um, it was from where I'm at, San Antonio to Conroe, Texas. And that one was $270. That's a four hour drive from where I'm at, uh, 235 miles. So again, you have to account for the dead heading back. Um, just not worth it. Uh, I'd rather stay local. Even if I have a, you know, a day where I make less than my goal, it's all good. You always got tomorrow. So <clears throat> that was my day. Uh, no intro today. Just want to get right to it. Um, like I said, I just want to use this video. I just been on my mind. So I've been, I started my business in January, 2023. And I started my YouTube channel in February. And so about six months. And during my journey, I have met quite a few people um, and I've also, um, I still watch YouTube videos. So that's how I got started. You know, I watch nothing but YouTube videos. I learned everything, everything through YouTube and um, I still watch YouTube videos today. Like I'm not an expert. I'm still a rookie at this game. I'm still learning. I'm literally just documenting my journey so you can see what it looks like. So I still have a lot to learn and I still watch YouTube channels every day. And um, so I'm just gonna start there. Um, I know I've given shout outs before and there's certain uh, channels, uh, YouTube creators that I've uh, thanked already. Um, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with them, but um, there's three YouTube channels that I just wanna recognize right now because um, I'm, on, I'm not trying to promote them or nothing like that. Uh, I'm just giving them a shout out and a thank you because they've inspired me. I need inspiration too. Um, so these channels have inspired me and helped me to continue to uh, work hard and and uh, trying to uh, build my business and have a good work ethic, uh, work values and morals. So um, I'm gonna just get right to it. So the first YouTube channel is um perfect load logistics perfect loads logistics so um i'm sorry i do not know this gentleman's name um hold on one second all right sorry about that guys uh, i was getting an alert a dolly alert uh so i just turned my notifications off so uh perfect loads logistics um i do not know this gentleman's name i just got on his channel but i do know he is out of florida and he drives a, I think it's a SUV, uh, a Durango, and he pulls a trailer behind his uh, SUV. Um, so he, you know, he has his business name on the back of the trailer and everything. Um, I really like this guy. Um, he, uh, his work ethics is just like he, honestly, um, he helps motivate me. Uh, this guy is not lazy at all. Um, I, I, I think he's going to do great with his business. 
Um, I, there is a female that works with him. I don't know who she is. Uh, he may have explained, but I don't know if that's his wife or girlfriend or you know, a relative. I have no idea. But um, I love his attitude, man. I do. Um, I don't know how long he's been on YouTube, but um, you know, he he doesn't complain. He, you could tell that he's not lazy. He doesn't mind working, doing manual labor. He's just happy to have his own business and be making money. So I, I I don't know what his goals are. I don't know, you know, if that's what he wants to do or if he's, you know, trying, you know, trying to save money to buy a bigger vehicle. I have no idea. But I love his attitude. He actually gave me a lot of ideas. Um, he's on pretty much all the apps and he's also a tasker. He's on TaskRabbit and he really likes TaskRabbit. Um, so not only does he do like go share the, the orders that I normally do, but he does task rabbit and part of his services is lawn. So he has a trailer, he does junk removal, he mows people's lawns and um, he's just doing big things, man. And it's a great idea. I think if you cannot afford a van, um, if you have a, a SUV or a truck or something that, you know, with a tow hitch, that's a great idea to, uh, I think he owns his trailer, but you can rent or own a trailer and that's your cargo space. So um yeah man i just want to give him a shout out uh like i said i'm not trying to promote anybody i'm just telling you these are videos that i watch and these people that's the type of people that inspire me as well uh the second one is saint mike 504 um he's kind of new to the channel as well uh, i saw the video where he purchased his van i think he got a, a pro master i love his attitude um i think he's out of colorado if i'm not mistaken um his attitude it, so the first guy i mentioned perfect load logistics he's got the work ethics and the attitude uh saint mike 504 has the same the attitude and the work ethic does not complain does not mind manual labor uh, he completely understands what it's like to be your own boss and to buy a vehicle that you can use to make money and that's the happiness that's the joy so yeah, you're not gonna make four or five hundred dollars every day, but some days you're you're gonna make three or four hundred dollars. Some days you're not, but it's just the the fact that you're you're no longer using all your energy and you know your time, your energy, your strength for a company that's gonna pay you twenty dollars an hour. I'd rather do that for myself. So I think he understands that. I can feel his excitement. Um, I think it's a great channel, great motivation. And he inspires me as well. So shout out to St. Mike 504. And the last one, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I think he's been on YouTube for quite some time, uh, but he inspires me as well. Um, and that is Expediting America. Um, and I want to say he lives in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Another Florida uh, owner operator. So he does OTR. He's over the road. Uh, I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with him. Um, when I first bought my van, I was looking to do OTR. That was the purpose. I bought this van. Um, I have a family of five. I do not want to be on the road for, for three weeks at a time. It's just not, I don't think it's going to work. You know, obviously the, the money is there. I mean, you can make a lot of money, but, um, I love expediting America because he, he will tell you his true emotions. And that's important because he's single no kids and he does have a travel companion uh his dog bubba joe i think it is a bubba joe something like that sorry if i said it wrong but uh he does have a travel companion which is good but um you know he'll tell you he, actually uh the, this video right here he kind of explains the emotions of doing otr so don't believe the hype there's a lot of people that are very successful at it but there's a lot of people that struggle with it um, you definitely have to be mentally tough and prepared. Um, and for me, like I said, I, I will always consider OTR. That's, that's something that I could do at any point in time. I literally, all I have to do is raise my insurance to a million. I have my authority and I have two, uh, dispatchers that I could work for right now. So I could literally do that today and start getting loads tomorrow, but I'm just not, my heart's not in it. So I'm saving OTR for a potential driver for my company so anyways uh expediting america thank you man for 
sharing your true emotions and what it's really like to be to do OTR. It's not as easy as you think. Um, there are some good earnings, but then there's, you know, you have to account for all the expenses. And I think uh, this video right here is a great video to kind of help you understand that, you know, it, it's different. OTR is different. So I love seeing, um, you know, different perspectives from everyone that does different things. So shout out to him. Those are the main three that I want to shout out. I mean, really shout out to everyone that does these videos. But uh, those three have been very inspirational to me. And uh, thank you guys. So the next set of shout outs is for um, people that I have met in person or even not in person, formal, informally. Uh, but they have helped me through this journey. Um, and some of them are in Texas, in my state. Some of them are in my city. So uh, just real quick, uh, the first person, there's no particular order. The first person I want to shout out to is someone that um, I look up to as a mentor. Uh, he's been helping me. I've not met him in person yet, but um, he has been helping me. He's a fleet owner. He has his own business. He does OTR. He does local runs and um he's been in the game a long time and uh that person lives in h-town houston and big shout out to big al um big al has really like helped guide me and he's been trying to help me uh, build my business teaching me i mean just little tips from people like that so you guys know that I, I had an opportunity. I do. I signed up with a carrier company and they offered me a local contract route Monday through Friday. And I think it paid like one hundred and seventy dollars and it'll be like transporting um, uh, truck parts for like large for like uh, trash trucks and dump trucks. And, um, and, you know, that route, I think it paid like one hundred and seventy dollars, but something that I learned from Big Al is that you don't want to take a contract like that um, unless it's, you know, like $400 a day or more. Um, it's not worth it, you know. So it's good to know people that, that understand the business and what a good contract is, what it's not. So not to be too long, man. Thank you, Big Al. Appreciate everything you do for me. Um, and uh, yeah, man, just definitely I recommend if you can get a mentor. Uh, someone that's been in the game at least five years or more, that's definitely going to help you. Uh, the other person I want to uh, shout out is um, Philip and Troy. They are two cargo van operators out here in San Antonio. Um, we have had the privilege to work together um, and to kind of like meet up, put our heads together. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like networking with other drivers. I'm the total opposite. I love meeting new drivers, putting our heads together, figuring out how we can help each other, not compete against each other. Um, and, you know, we, Troy is, he used to do OTR. I learned a lot from him, his experiences. Like I said, everyone doesn't have an awesome experience at OTR. So it's good to, to talk to people that's actually done it. Um, and Philip is a hustler. He honestly, not to put his business out, but he don't have to work. Like he, he's retired military, but you know, he, um, he actually came across my videos and you know, he likes, instead of sitting on the couch, I might as well go make some money, you know, go get me a cargo van. So I love his attitude, man. He's a hustler. Um, and he, he helps motivate me. So anyways, long story short, those guys are kind of like, uh, you know, we're kind of like helping each other. Um, basically if any one of us get a contract, we're going to share it and help each other. Um, I get to go to, I'm, I've been presenting myself to different businesses and not by myself. I don't have to say, Hey, you know, um, you know, I have a cargo van and I can help you with, you know, deliveries. I don't have to do that. I, I can say, Hey, I got a cargo van and I got two other guys with a cargo van. You know, that's what I'm presenting to businesses. So anyways, uh, shout out to those guys, man. Thank you. Um, appreciate y'all hard work and hustling mentality. I love being around people like that. Uh, next shout out is to Trey. 
Trey is the one. He has a cargo van. He's an owner operator out here. I actually captured this moment on video where I just literally just went to introduce myself to him. He was picking up a dispatch order. I could have just sat in my van and said absolutely nothing to him. I went to introduce myself because I was curious to know what he's doing out here. And I ended up getting my dealer's contract route through him. Um, it was available to him. He couldn't do it. He passed it on to me. And that was through Jump Logistics. So um, thank you, Trey. I know he's working hard at trying to dispatch as well as getting a tire contract. So I hope he gets it because, like I said, that's another person that can help me out if he gets that contract. Um, the next person uh, is Raul. Raul is somebody I met. Um, I was uh, picking up tires on a Saturday, Saturday morning. And uh, I think Raul has a pickup truck. So he, um, so basically he's on Dolly. And I think, uh, I don't know what other apps he's on, but he was picking up some tires as well. And we end up exchanging numbers and he, he, I think he hit me up first about if I'm available to help him on dollies um, because I think he has a pickup truck so he could pick up refrigerators and stuff like that. And I told him, absolutely, you know, and vice versa. He made himself available to me. I've hit him up at least twice now to help me last minute. You know, I had one incident where my dolly helper wasn't available and I hit him up to see if he's available it was an early morning pickup. He said, yes, he was available, ready to go. I had a tasker job where, you know, I needed someone to help me and uh, he was available. I, I already know I haven't like worked with him yet, but I know enough to know that he's there for me and vice versa. I'm there for him. It's great to have somebody like that on your side in this type of work. Somebody you can rely on, somebody you can call you know, a day ahead of time or even last minute. Hey, man, I got this job. Are you you know, able to help me? I just need help loading this up, whatever. And he's you know, he, it's not a fake. Yes. It's not like, yes, like, you know, just to say yes. No, it's like he's he really about helping and making money and uh, teamwork. So appreciate you, man. Uh, Raul, hope I get to work with you soon. Shout out to him. Uh, the next person is also in San Antonio is Steven. Um, I talked about him. He's a business owner. He, he does a, he has a moving company. He has a, a pickup truck and a huge trailer, enclosed trailer that he pulls. Um, that thing can hold a lot of stuff. He could do a whole apartment move. So um, he only uses Dolly. That's the only other app he uses. That's for his moving company. And ever since I met him, he has added me to his list of people. And he has been consistently sending me requests like trying to win a load on dolly i know some of you guys may or may not know that you have to bid on it or request it and you won't always get it so um he's been requesting loads uh work from dolly and sending it to me requesting me and i've gotten several dollies because of him so uh, i just want to thank him like i said he has his own business as well so there's there's going to be times where he might need me for a move and i'm going to be there for him so Steven, thank you, man. I appreciate your attitude, your hard work and his knowledge. He's very knowledgeable. He's been on Dolly for over four years. He's been in the independent contractor business for several years. So definitely a uh, smart man. And uh, I listen when he talks. Um, and then, uh, sorry if this is getting long. I got two more. So the next one is a couple. I love this couple, man. I met them as well at a... Um, I was picking up tires on a Saturday morning. This is the same day I met Raul. And uh, I saw two cargo vans, just like mine. And um, I saw a lady get out the driver's seat. And I saw a man, uh, you know, outside the other one. I did not know there was any relation. So um, the guy, his name is Alex. So he actually recognized me from my channel. So that was cool to meet him. And then he's like, oh, this is my wife. Karen so Karen and she's in the other cargo van and I'm like you got to be kidding me both of y'all got a cargo van man I was like I was that pumped me up so much because my wife she works with me and she's a hundred percent into the business with me we're part business partners but um 
she don't want to drive no big old van. I, I'm going to just be honest. She, she's not scared of it or nothing, but she just, she wants a little Ford Connect. But like to actually see a couple together, working together, she got her van, he got his. Check out their business card. This is their business card, man. That's one of the tightest business cards I've ever seen. His and her. Um, man, shout out to them, man. I'm so glad I ran into them because that's the first couple that I've seen and they both got their own cargo van. So he has his own business. He's also on Tasker. Um, and I think he has a local contract. Uh, he's, he's an entrepreneur, man. Big shout out to Alex. Um, I'm hoping he can help me out. I'm trying to get on Amazon FBA. Uh, so I know he has experience with that, but I just want to shout them out, man, because, um, that was very motivating to see that. And, um, you know, he's got a, a family fleet, husband and wife business, and she make more money than him. I mean, I, I wasn't supposed to say that, but <laughs> she make more money than him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, big shout out to y'all, man. And my, my last one that's in San Antonio, actually, I'm sorry, there's two more, but the last one, uh, he's not cargo van related. Uh, this person is, um, a good citizen a great civilian so i met him i was doing a dolly with one of my buddies and um i think you might remember this but we had to take a heavy leather sofa three-seater sofa with a bed inside you know i had to pull out bed that thing was so heavy we had to take it to the third floor of an apartment and no elevator up the stairs and we had already took some furniture. I mean, the guy only had like five pieces of uh, furniture. So we had already taken everything up. We saved the heaviest one for last. And it was a hot day. Uh, it was humid. We were dehydrated. I was tired. I'm like, man, I'm looking at my, my partner like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Like this thing is, it's just too heavy. And this young guy, I don't know his age. I'm gonna say he's maybe mid twenties, early twenties kind of muscular looks like he's probably played football before um he saw us he saw us struggling and he was in the passenger seat of a car the car stopped he got out and he's like hey man y'all need some help and i didn't want i wanted to tell him i wanted to be macho and be like nah we good we got it but i really needed help i was like man this is i don't know if we're gonna make it so he good-hearted man I could tell he's legit. He wasn't trying to like show off or impress us. He legitimately is a helpful person. Um, his name is uh, Jovan. Um, I ended up getting his number. I'm actually gonna take him to lunch because um, what he did, he didn't have to do that. He could have just kept driving. You know, that's a lot of things. I'm not saying that you have to help people lift stuff and all that, but I mean, he knew his strength. He saw the struggle. And he made up in his mind to stop and help us. And he made it really easy. Like that, that sofa became really light when he picked it up and we got it upstairs. We got it into, got it delivered. And, uh, oh, hold on. Speaking of delivered, I just got a delivered order. <laughs> Let me see what it is. Hold on. All right, y'all really sorry about that. I was getting a delivered order coming through my phone. And, uh, I told you guys, I get one like almost every day or every other day. So this one's for tomorrow is paying $71. So I definitely accepted that. Uh, so just to finish up, Jovan, shout out to you. Thank you, man, for helping me and just being a good person. Uh, you don't meet a lot of people like that. So, um, yeah, man, I owe you lunch. I'm going to take him out. And uh, next is I'm almost done. I'm sorry, guys. I talk a lot, uh, but I really want to get this out because this is legit. It's like from the heart, man, for real. So uh, the next person is my neighbor. My neighbor, uh, his name is Gilbert. Um, when I first started thinking about buying a cargo van, um, he caught my eye. He has a, a truck, he has a, a pickup truck and he, put, he does hot shots. So he has, a a flatbed trailer that, that can fit two cars. So I, you know, started talking to him about it and he was pretty much explaining the business to me, how it works. And he, right now he makes about 25 to 3500 dollars per week okay he does hot shot and he does not leave the state so he does everything regional um he has a dot 
He does not have an MC. He does not need to cross state lines. Um, and his business, it was passed on from his dad. So he's using his dad's DOT. Um, so he, he um, definitely inspired me when, you know, when you know that your neighbor's making that kind of money and he's not even leaving the state and he's just hauling cars, that's, that really got me interested in this business. So um, he's non-CDL, so no CDL. Um, and he's just really been helpful to me the whole process. Um, he kind of really encouraged me to go ahead and, you know, be your own boss because I was really nervous about it. But, you know, there was <clears throat> a couple times where he told me, like, man, I know I'm making money right now, but I didn't start off making money. Like, you know, he had to buy his truck, took him, you know, two years to pay it off. He bought his trailer. Um, he did not see profits for two years straight. Like his he was making just enough money to, to pay the bills. So he's profiting now. But before, when he first started. He wasn't profiting and that's that's the part that you know he he really told me like you got to stick with it like you're gonna have you know it's gonna be tough you're not gonna really make the money you want to make starting off but stick stay with it like don't stop <clears throat> and your earnings will grow so um that was huge coming from him especially since i got to see him and meet him and see what he's doing and to know that you know the start off is going to be rough like it's, you're not going to make a huge amount of money but you know you will see your profits if you stick with it so um i just want to thank him man he did a lot for me and he still does like he's he's hooking me up with mechanics you know to work on my van with discounts and just uh he's just always hooking me up with stuff so anyways shout out to him gilbert and the very the last one it's actually i saved this for last but it's actually another youtube channel unrelated to cargo van but um i uh i'm very inspired by pretty much anything that's positive it doesn't have to be cargo van related um, i subscribed to this channel a while back and um it's it's something I, I watch these videos pretty much every night me and my wife before we go to bed um, this family, I love this family. They're very inspirational just, uh, to, and as far as like being successful in life, uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing to be successful. It's just doing what you, what you want to do and doing what you love. So the channel is, um, I A G farms and it's, it stands for all about God. It's all about God. And, uh, I highly recommend this channel. Um, they have a lot of followers already, but um, he's basically kind of like me. He's documenting his journey and his journey into independence. So he's basically, uh, he lives off the grid. They bought land. They bought a mobile home and he is rebuilding and remodeling uh, the both the land and his mobile home. And he's doing it by himself. Very little help. No help at all, really. Like he's doing it himself. Uh, the guy's name is Tim, and I'm sorry I cannot remember his wife's name. And he has three boys, so he's kind of like me. He, I, I can relate to him because I got three boys as well. But Tim is the definition, in my definition, of a really good, hardworking man. Uh, he loves his family. Um, he's not lazy at all. He's he can do pretty much anything. Um, you know, any yard work, maintenance, he does it all himself. He lives off the grid um, and they, you know, they basically have, are creating a debt free life for themselves. So he's very successful, uh, successful business. And his wife, I believe, is a teacher. And um, yeah, man, uh, they're out of uh, Mississippi. So great inspiration and um yeah man i i love that channel like i love their attitude and one thing i just want to end uh on them is i know some people have reached out to me about um you know some people have like a felony on their record and um they want to know can they still get into this business can they still do this type of work and um 
I think that's he, his channel would be great for you because he's an ex felon. You know, he he went to prison um, and he turned his life around and he's a, a living testimony of, you know, what God can do for you. So he has his own business. He makes plenty of money. Um, you know, he's living, building a debt free life for himself and his family. And he does have an email. So if you have questions, I'm sure he'll get back to you. Like I said, he has a lot of subscribers, so it might take some time. But if you have that question, because I can't really answer that question, but he can. I'm sure he can help you. So anyways, shout out to all those people. I'm sorry this video is long, but I just this was on my heart to to make a video like this, because I mean, you know, um, it's it's hard to do this by yourself. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like if I didn't know anybody and I'm just doing everything myself, it would be really, really hard. It's so much easier when you connect with other drivers that's doing what you're doing and you get, you know, little bits and pieces of information and things that can help you. And then you got a YouTube platform where you got people putting, you know, people from all walks of life, all different states and cities doing the same thing. Everybody's different. Everybody's story's different everybody's work ethics is different like you get to see it so anyways so, um, very very last person i would be in big trouble if i did not mention this person but my very last shout out is to my wife and kids so uh my wife um next month we will be married for 16 years i've known her for 18 years um she met me when i first got out the military and when i got out the military I was not thinking about getting married, having kids, all that stuff. Uh, I was, wasn't thinking about that, just so you know. So um, she, uh, by meeting her, I think, you know, God definitely put her in my life. She changed me. Like she changed me, got me on the right path, got me focused, refocused on, you know, what's important, mainly God first. And, um, I owe her that, man. Like, I, I, my wife is my best friend. Um, like, I could not do what I'm doing without her. So, she's been with me. She's seen my, she knows how I am and how, like, once I put my mind to something, I, uh, you know, I, I go for it and I, I, I do it. Um, even just moving, like, we were in California. We, we grew up in California together and, um, you know, we're both from California. We both have, we've seen how it's changed a lot. It's very unaffordable. Um, I had a job that was paying a hundred thousand dollars a year and I was living paycheck to paycheck. You know, I had a nice house, but you know, I just never could really save money. So, you know, our decision, my decision to move to Texas, it was a tough decision, but I don't regret it one bit. I think it was one of the best decisions of my life. And she supported me through that. Um, you know, it's tough for her to move because, you know, we're leaving all our family and everything. But, you know, I had to think about my future and as well as my kids. I want to, you know, when my great grandparents moved from Mississippi to California. That's when you could buy a house for one hundred seventy thousand dollars. You know, now, you know, the house that I grew up in, my parents paid one hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars. You know, it's a big two story, five bedroom house. That house 30 years later over 30 years later is like almost a million dollars now. So I just can't live like that. I can't survive. So <clears throat> by migrating to Texas, it's created an opportunity for me to not only build a business, but then I can, I have some, I could leave my house to my kids, you know, it'll be paid off and you know, it's so I could save more money and so much opportunity. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. So anyways, um, I have to thank my wife. Um, I do have to respect her wishes. She doesn't want to be on the channel, so I got to respect that. But uh, she is 100 percent in this business. She's my business partner, co-owner, um, very involved. And uh, my hope is to get her a Ford Connect so that she can do my route and other jobs a little easier. We're currently using our Kia Sedona minivan, and uh, that's not really a work vehicle. So um, anyway, so I want to thank her. It's been, it was a little roller coaster when I told her I, I wanted to leave my job and work for myself. I think she was skeptical, but she supported me because she knows that I really wanted to do it. 
you know, she knows like once I put my mind to it, it's going to happen. So thank you, wifey. And um, I think that's it, man. I talked enough. Uh, sorry, no content, no, no cargo van content today, but I just wanted to get this off my chest. I had to thank these people um, on this platform and really thank you, everybody, everybody. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get at it tomorrow. I'm a, uh, If it's busy, I'll post a video. If it's not busy, I'm not going to bore you with it, but I do plan on posting on Friday. So other than that, man, have a good one and I'll catch y'all on the next one.